Right, a birthday, a wedding, mm -hmm. and indeed a celebration of life all coming together on the show today. Thank you so much for joining us on Metrofile. And as usual, we hit it off right away. Yes, so when you hear that, you know you're going to have an amazing time mm -hmm. on this edition of Metrofile. So thank you once again for joining us. But while you enjoy every bit of it, please watch out for flash photography, especially to a sense of viewers. I'm Anne Mwawadu. And I'm Oge Chukwu. So welcome to our show. And we hit it off right away. Mm -hmm. Sending our love and good wishes to someone who makes 70 look so royal and classy. Yeah, she also makes it look so elegant. Mm -hmm. And we're talking about no other than the Her Royal Highness, Erelu Abiola Dusumu. Yes, and she held a three-in-one celebration to mark this new age. And I know you want to say it. So do we. So let's go check it out. When you think about someone who carries royalty with so much grace, style and class, Erelukuti of Lagos, Abiola Dosumu readily comes to mind. Like fine wine that gets better with age, Abiola Dosumu still looks refreshingly young with a natural glow that can get even the young envious. She is the latest septuagenarian. I just have so much to thank God for. It's going to be more of a Thanksgiving uh, ceremony, he, you know, which will be kicked off with a lecture. Okay. And then the rest will be Thanksgiving and uh, celebrating. She looked all shades of beautiful with her signature white outfit as she kicked off activities to mark her 70th birthday with a lecture that seeks to address issues of both national and international interest. The guest speaker, Nigeria's former permanent representative to the United Nations and one-time Foreign Affairs Minister, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, spoke on the theme, threats to peace and security around the globe, given the present security challenges across the world. We are a leader in the continent, for sure. But we must lead by example. And it has been continuous leading by example. Not yesterday, not the time of Muhammad, not the time of the first coming of uh, A woman who is no doubt passionate about the peace and unity of Nigeria, Erelu Kuti explains why she has decided to use the occasion of her birthday to draw attention to these national issues. We always say, oh, this country is so, so stressful, oh, this country. It's not Nigeria. It's those who should be father and mother to Nigeria that are jettisoning their duties. So for me, and I hope a lot more people in my age bracket will come, on, come out on the side of Nigeria. Where wrongdoings uh, are being perpetuated, we should be able to speak out. The event shah attracted creme de la creme of the society, including the former president of Nigeria, Chief Olusha Basanjo, who was the chairman of the occasion, the governor of Ogun State, Ibikule Amosu, and his wife, Ulufunsho, the former Commonwealth Secretary General, Chief Emeka Nyoku, the Catholic Archbishop of Lagos, Most Reverend Alfred Adewale Martins, the Alake of Egbaland, Oba Adedotu Badebo, the Esama of Benin Kingdom, Chief Gebra Osawaru Ibinidio, the Chairman of FCMB, Otumba Shubumi Balogu and wife, Forbes richest man in Africa, Alhaji Aliko Dangute, Chairman of Fort Oil, Chief Femio Tedola, the Vice Chairman of Famfa Oil Limited, Mrs. Falonisho Alakija, and the wife of the Onyo of Ife, Olori Wurola Ogunse. Other prominent guests here include the former governor of Oyo State, Otumba Alawa Kala, former minister of petroleum, Chief Philippa Siodu, General Ike Mwachiku, Professor Patu Tomi, Honorable Abike Dabiri Arewa, businessman, Mr. Tunde Ayeni, elder statesman, Chief Ayo Adebanjo, the IRL Nokakanfo of Owu Kingdom, Prince Bolu Akino Lugbade, Mrs. Florence Itagiwa, Alaja Abba Folawil, amongst other very important guests. And 
A royal cultural ambassador who reigns as a top ranking chief in Lagos and indeed Yoruba land, Erelu has used her social cultural influence to improve the welfare of people in her community. Uh, we have projects for empowering the dropouts children and the girl child and you'd be amazed at the number of dropout children that actually have great talents you know and so in the area of the art we we train them we give them equipment to be able to set up on their own and make a living uh, we've trained so many welders carpenters and different peoples and gave them tools eventually to uh, to start off so thank you. She went further to document some of our achievements in these books titled Irelu, Mother of Royalty and A Legacy of Honor, which was launched by the governor of Ogun State, Ibikuli Amosu, and Mr. Tunde Ayeni. Um, I wish for her peace for all her hard work and all the wonderful things that she's done. I wish for her recognition for the gifts that she's given her country. The lecture over and the fun part began. They settled in and the fun-loving celebrant stepped up together with her family to cut her cake. I love music and I play a lot of music and I would dance off all night, even till now, if I have a chance. So, but sometimes, you know, in public you have to, you know, <laughs> you have to control yourself and comport yourself. But really, if I have the opportunity, I love dancing and I love music. Well, this day was indeed an exception as she sure rocked the dance floor. The celebration of Erelukuti at 70 did not end here. It continued at Our Lady of Perpetual Help Catholic Church in Lagos, where she went together with her family to thank God for his mercies. joyfully stepped forward for her special Thanksgiving. <laughs> Known to be one who doesn't do things in half measure. She hosted a memorable night of songs of praise and thanksgiving later that evening. It was indeed an evening of different soul-lifting songs.
doubt enjoys tremendous goodwill from friends and well-wishers, and the show turned up in good numbers to celebrate the latest septuagenarian. Irulu stepped out together with her family to cut her cake. And and 70. In all, it was three days of celebrating God's goodness, and the celebrant is indeed thankful, having spent the day the way she planned. Here is wishing her a happy birthday. Well, she went all out to mark her birthday and prominent Nigerians sure came through for her. Yes, and she also had fun. Did yeah, you see did. that she dance? Did. Yeah, she did. <laughs>